The Sound Solutions range of systems are designed to enhance the acoustic environment within the home, both reducing the intrusion of unwanted noise and also allowing people to enjoy sound without the concern of disturbing others around them. Dryliner RFSI system, which stands for Refurbishment and Sound Insulation, is an easy-to-install wall lining system for upgrading the acoustic performance of walls in existing buildings when space is limited. The system only requires 52 mm of floor space. Before we get started, let's take a look at the components and accessories used in the range. 52 mm Jiprock Triline a plasterboard that is laminated to an acoustic insulation material. Jiprock sealant, which is supplied in foil sausages for adhering the triline to the wall. Jipframe G106 skirting plates to allow the fixing of skirtings without penetrating into the masonry background. Jiprock nailable plugs, a secondary fixing to ensure the boards are correctly fixed to the background. Now we will start to build the system. Start by removing any pictures from the wall. Lift any carpets, underlay and gripper rods. Use an oscillating saw to cut the short returns of skirting to the total depth of the lining being installed. Progress to remove the skirting board. Very often the plaster will not continue down to the floor surface and there will be gaps between the floorboards and masonry wall. When this occurs, it is important to fill the gap at the floor level with thistle undercoat plaster. This will minimize any air leakage and improve optimum sound insulation when the new lining system is installed. Ensure all services have been isolated by a competent tradesperson to enable works to start. Electrical sockets are repositioned with a metal back box being fixed to the plaster surface. Old socket positions can be filled with thistle undercoat plaster to provide optimum sound insulation to the lining system. Ensure that the wall is in a suitable condition to receive the Jiprock triline boards. This means removing wallpaper and sealing up any gaps to the wall surface. Mark the wall at 900mm centres to indicate the board positioning. Once the boards have been measured, cut the boards with a saw. Locate jib frame skirting plates over the bottom edge of the board with the rear of the plate inserted between the plasterboard and insulating backing. Position at 600mm centres, 150mm in from each long edge. Turn the board over. Apply blobs of Jiprock sealant in four vertical rows at 300mm centres to the back of the board and firmly flatten each blob of Jiprock sealant using a taping knife to prime the surface of the insulating backing. Gun apply a further blob of Jiprock sealant over each primed area. At socket or light switch positions, apply a bead of Jiprock sealant around the metal back box before applying Jiprock triline boards. Present the Jiprock triline boards up to the wall and use a straight edge to flatten the board back into position. Two hundred millimeters down from the top and fifteen millimeters in from the edge, drill six millimeter diameter holes into the background on either side of the board. Insert two nailable plugs, which penetrate the masonry background by a minimum twenty-five millimeters to provide a secondary mechanical fixing into the background. 
Job done. Your lining system is now complete and ready for plastering or jointing before skirtings are fixed into position. Thank you.